This video is to tell you about the vision and strategy for gospel communities here at the Seed Church. We get our theological vision for gospel community from Acts chapter 2. And what we find there is that the early Christians gathered in small groups to eat together, to enjoy each other's presence. They were committed to the apostles' teaching, which means the Word, the Bible. And they were serving one another. And so we see in the Bible, from very early on in the church, there was this commitment in believers to be enmeshed in one another's lives, committed to the Bible, and doing life together. That's where we get our vision for gospel communities here at The Seed, that we would gather in smaller groups in addition to the larger Sunday gatherings. Now we have three different types of gospel communities. Those three types are a connect gospel community, a study gospel community, and a shepherding gospel community. Let me tell you about those three, how they're similar and also how they're different. All three of these gospel communities have all the same elements of a GC. There is getting to know one another, praying for each other, caring for each other, serving each other. Also looking at the Bible together, asking questions of it together. All the components of a gospel community are in all three of these types. What makes them different is that we're putting a particular foot forward or a focus. So the Connect GC, the focus there is connecting with other believers. The foot forward in a Connect GC is walking with a group of believers for a longer season to check in with them, care for them, keep a prayer journal on them, and to grow in relationship. It's a space to connect deeply over the gospel community season in relationship with other believers. You'll still study the Bible. There's still questions that you're answering from the most recent sermon. You're still serving one another and doing all the things in a GC, but the focus, the foot forward, is that relational connection. The second type GC is the study GC. The foot forward in a study GC is biblical literacy. It's taking the time to slow down, learn the Bible, know the Bible, and grow in understanding the Bible. More time is spent on either studying the sermon or a particular book of the Bible, or maybe a study book that's approved by the elders. The third type of GC is the shepherding GC. The foot forward in a shepherding GC is practical application. We're certainly studying the Bible and in relationship with others, but the main focus here is personally applying it in a vulnerable way with a small group of people. There's content that's already been put together, and a leader will lead their group through practically applying the gospel to all sorts of daily life realities. Things like, how do I identify my desires and change my desires? How do I break a habit? How do I deal with anxiety and worry and conflict and relationships? In the shepherding GC, there's still study of the Bible, there's still lots of connection, but the focus is personally applying the gospel to the real places of our everyday lives. For this reason, these groups will be smaller and there will be a higher expectation of vulnerability in these groups. We elders believe that all three of these groups are critical to the health of the church. And here is my final encouragement for you. I encourage you to pray and ask the Lord to lead you of where you should lean in to gospel community ministry before you join. What I mean is, we're not just here to only scratch your itch, or to just give you something comfortable. I encourage you to pray through, where's the Lord calling you to lean in? Should you step into a season of joining a Connect GC, really walking with other believers, keeping a prayer journal, caring for them, remembering them in prayer, following up week after week in a season of relationship? Or is it a time to study more, to grow in your biblical literacy and understand more about the Bible? Or is it a season of personal application? to take the gospel and to apply it in personal, vulnerable ways with a small group. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'm excited to see how the Lord uses gospel community ministry here at the Sea Church.